Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on telling the time from an analog clock. Now the difference between an analog clock and a digital clock is an analog clock has hands, whereas a digital clock will just have the digits. So a digital clock might look something like this. So that's a digital clock, whereas these are analog clocks with hands. Now we have two hands. This longer hand is known as the minute hand and the shorter hand is known as an hour hand. We might also have a third hand, a really long thin one, and that's the second hand, and we're not going to worry about that in this video. Now we need to first read the hour, so first read the hour, and that's the sort of easier bit, if you like. Um, if we look at the hour, can we see that the hour hand is pointing at two? So the hour hand is reading two, and then we want to next read the minute hand. And then we're going to put the numbers together. Now, you might think, oh, the minute hand is pointing at 12, so the minutes is 12. But with a minute, it works a bit differently. These numbers here are for the hours. So these numbers here are for the hours only. They're not for the minutes. And the way the minutes work is this. So at the top of the clock, it's zero minutes, and then we work our way around going up in fives. So we work around, we say clockwise, because that's the way a clock hand goes in this direction. So we go up in fives, so that would be five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then we get back to zero again. So let's look at the minutes hand. It's pointing at the zero here for the minutes. So the minutes is zero. And then we put that together. The hour is two. And then sometimes we either have a space or a colon. And then we put the minutes. Now, with the minutes, we always have two digits. You should have two digits, two symbols. And if it's zero, it's just going to be zero, zero. If it's a single digit number like five, then we have zero, five. So maybe actually I'm going to put the zero on the front here so that all of these are now two digits. So that's the time. It's two, zero, zero. What about the second one? So we're going to first read the hour hand. So what's the number of hours? Well, this hour hand, this short hand, is somewhere between seven and eight. So which is it? Well, the hour hand has passed the seven hour mark, but it hasn't yet reached the eight hour mark. So we use the lower of the two numbers. So the hour is seven. And then I'm gonna write these numbers around the outside for the minutes. So that's zero, zero minutes, zero, five, going up in fives each time. Forty-five, fifty, fifty-five. So we can see on the minutes numbers, remember these are the minutes numbers and the inner numbers are the hour numbers. We can see that the longer hand, the minute hand, is pointing at the 45. So the number of minutes is 45. So if we put that together, it's 7 colon 45. And that would be the time. Now you might have seen like after time PM or AM. Now we don't have to worry about that because when we look at a clock, we can't tell whether it's in the afternoon or in the morning. So we're just gonna leave it at 7.45.